Do you design tanks or other fluid vessels? Do you need to create tank gauge charts like you see in front of you? Well, using SOLIDWORKS 2016, I'm going to take you through a process of how I can generate this information from your 3D model. Now, as you can see, I already have a tank created inside SOLIDWORKS. And just to understand what's going on inside, let's create a section view. And actually, I already have some fluid already present right there at the bottom, just a little bit. And this was created with the enhanced intersection feature inside SOLIDWORKS 2016. Now after I created the tank, I created a new plane offset from the top plane. And that top plane sits right at the bottom of the tank. So with my tank body and my fluid level plane, I create an intersection feature. Select the two items the plane and the body, and choose the new option, Create Internal Regions. Click Intersect, and this does the calculation for me, giving me that fluid body. Now, how much volume does that have? Well, I could use mass properties to calculate that. The other thing I'm interested in are the, the units that we're working with. So let's just take a quick look. Let's go into Document Properties, Units. Choose Custom, and we can modify the per unit volume. Now I have fluid ounces defined, but you could also pick any of the other units here. Gallons is a popular choice. So, thinking ahead, how am I going to generate this plot? Do I have to manually use mass properties for that fluid body? No, you do not. There's a much easier way. Now, the first question is how do I automatically track the volume of that fluid body? The answer, sensors. So let's create a new sensor. We are going to use mass properties here and look at volume associated to our fluid body. So now, every time SOLIDWORKS modifies the geometry or if we increase the fluid level plane, therefore updating the intersect feature, my sensor will update. Fantastic. Now the next step is doing the automatic iteration where we increase that fluid level plane. To do this, we use design studies. So let's create a new design study. In this case, we are not using optimization, so I'll uncheck that. For our variables, what are we changing? What are we iterating? Well, we're going to iterate that fluid level height. So what do I pick here? Well, there isn't anything to pick from, so we need to add a parameter. So from here, we are going to link up with the model dimension. This is going to be that currently quarter offset for our fluid level plane. So I'll pick that dimension and give it a name. Now we're presented with the options to specify the min, max, and step. So what's my starting point? Quarter of an inch. What am I going up to? Five and three quarters. And we're going to do a step size of a quarter of an inch. Now our constraints. Or more importantly, what are we going to monitor? Well, we just specify the sensor that we created a minute ago. But in this case, we want to monitor it only. So we'll pick that option. And when we're ready, we'll click Run. And we will do this for all the scenarios. So as you can see here, it'll take a couple moments, but that gauge chart is being created right in front of our eyes. Couldn't be easier than this. So the next question to answer is how do I output this information? in this case, to Microsoft Excel. And there's going to be two ways I can do this. One is I can actually export this information right to a CSV. I can also preview the plot. Or I can just copy and paste the information from the cells that we see on screen. So let's take a look at this process. First, I can right click on the results and graphs and define a design history graph. Taking a look at the constraint, which is the volume, I can generate that plot. And from here, I can do a file save as and save out that CSV file. But one potentially easier way is just to select our sales of interest, use Control C to copy, go into Excel, and paste the values right in. And there we have our chart and our plot. Now, as a bonus here, I've done some data manipulation in Excel 
to remove the units and solve these cells as a number so my plot works properly in Excel. So again, utilizing SOLIDWORKS 2016 and the enhanced intersection feature, this process is much easier now. And again, using design studies, we can automatically do the iterations generating our gauge chart and our gauge plot. Have a great day.